Hello, my name is Estella Newhouse. My name, and the question is today, how long does it take for a tree to grow in space? My name is uh, Simon Gore. I am a professor at the Botany Department of the University of Wisconsin-Madison. On the International Space Station, the um, spruce seedlings have been grown, but not to full-size trees. So the question is, how long would it take for a tree to get to be full size? And how tall would it get? And what would it look like in space? That's actually kind of a complicated question. We don't know by having grown trees, but because we kind of know how trees operate, we can guess at what's gonna happen when they're in space. The tallest trees on Earth at the moment are the giant redwoods. They're about 300 to 400 feet tall. And the things that stop them getting taller are largely related to gravity. So to get that tall, you have to be massive, you have to be strong. The other limit about how tall they can get is trees have to draw water up from the ground up to their leaves. And so they're pulling the water up through the plant. And at some point, the water column that they're pulling up through themselves gets so long that it'll break. Go into space, that doesn't count anymore. So you go into space, you don't weigh anything. And so we know that plants growing on the space station grow long and thin and they don't lay down all of that support tissue. So that means that you can get big because you don't weigh anything. And also, you're drawing water up through the plant and the limit on Earth was gravity breaking that water column. But there is no gravity pulling on that water column in space. So in theory, a tree could get massively tall in space. Now, there's gonna be some practical limitations. You know, you gotta grow it inside a space station. Your space station's not gonna be 400 feet tall. So that's probably never gonna happen with gro growing giant sequoias in space. But there's a flip side to removing gravity, which is plants use gravity to direct their growth. So classically, shoots grow up, roots grow down. So as that tree is growing, it's using gravity to tell it what direction to put those two organs in. Roots growing down, shoots are growing up. Take away that cue and you have one set of confused plants. How long does it take to go through a generation? Would a tree grow like it does on Earth? That's something that we don't know. So that's a big open question. That's the kind of research which is going on now on the space station to try and work out exactly how plants grow under those weird, weird conditions of no gravity and all the strangeness that you have when you go into space.